Ay makalagan ako si Kalagan Fritz at ito ang laagan sa Subo. Don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel at laagan sa Subo and click the bell button for notification. Like our official Facebook page at laagan sa Subo. It's another pageant episode and another pageant queen na naman ang machichikahan natin sa araw na to. Help me welcome Miss Mandawi 2023 Candidate number 10, we have Miss Irish Dalima. Hello, everyone. Hello, Miss Irish. How are you? I'm feeling great. Good. And how was the competition so far, if I may ask? The experience with the Miss Mandawe competition and with the candidates is very overwhelming. And I'm just so happy that we are able to establish that friendship and sisterhood within the competition. Yes, that's one of the things, no? Sa mga yeah. pageant, no? the sisterhood or sa mga kings, the brotherhood, diba? the bonding. Yes, exactly. uh, okay, all right. Now, here at Lagan sa Subo, we have these segments. The first segment that you will be experiencing is the boiling question. But the question is, are you ready? Always ready. Good. <laughs> Now, there are boiling questions here in front of us. I want you to pick one first okay. and give it to me. Go ahead. This one. Oh, the long one. Oh, God. Okay. Your first boiling question is, if you were to be appointed as secretary of DOT or Department of Tourism, what innovation will you implement to boost cultural tourism in Mandawe? I think that it is very important that we innovate or enhance and strengthen the um, participation of the citizens, the civil society, because I believe that whenever we gather people, we could as well introduce the beauty of Mandawe. Mm -hmm. Because Mandawe is more than just a place, it's more than just the beautiful scenery, the amazing facade that you can see when you cross the roads it has culture it has story it has story to tell and i want to um, enhance i want to might as well strengthen or introduce initiate a project or activity that will allow people to participate and might as well give them the opportunity to know more about mandawe yes to know more about the history itself to know more mandawe and the perfect thing no para malaman natin mandawe is to go in mandawe exactly. <laughs> okay pick your next boiling question oh all right Your next boiling question is, what, according to you, is the most important part of a beauty pageant? I have been competing for a few years back then, and the only thing that I have realized is that beauty pageant is more than just the beauty. It's more than just being able to win a title, mm -hmm. being able to have that bragging rights that, yeah, you won, you won. It, I realized that beauty pageants, after all, are purpose-centered it's it's holistically driven with the advocacy mm -hmm. and i think that that's one of the root that's the one of the foundation of beauty pageants because we are not just here competing we are here raising advocacies and empowering in each individual particularly women correct because uh, nowadays with each pa pageant that you will be joining dapat meron kang own advocacy Yeah. Okay, pick your next boiling question. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Okay. Mm, this is it. Your next boiling question is, what does it mean to be a resilient woman? In my own understanding about resiliency, you're not only limited to being able to bounce back from the difficult situation that you have encountered, from the challenges, from all turbulences that you have experienced in your life. For me, being resilient is being able or being capable of being able to inspire and use herself as an image of inspiration and hope to many. Because as women, we are not just only limited to, you know, um, inspiring ourselves, empowering ourselves and how to overcome or endure the challenges that we have gone through. Mm -hmm. But also, we also are capable of inspiring other people who might as well need our, our help or who might as well need our bless or enlightenment as women. 
I see. Being inspired. Yeah. Yes. All right. Pick your last but not yeah. the least boiling question. Okay. Your last but not the least boiling question is, and it's kind of correlated with your answer earlier. Who is the most inspiring woman in the world for you and why? Well, to answer that question, I just want to um, relate that question to my advocacy as well. Mm -hmm. It's about sustainability. And I came up with that um, advocacy because of Gina Lopez. Oh. Yeah. And the reason why I look up to her is because she is very strong. She is very willing to really create a change on the issues that we are currently encountering, most especially with the concern of climate change. Mm -hmm. I look up to her because she is very empowered. And, you know, when we talk about advocacies or when we talk about purpose or yeah, initiatives that each individual is rooting for. I stand her because her belief th towards the uh, sustainability, towards the action for climate change is really, really well-founded. And I hope that in the future generation, we could might as well notice the changes that we are currently experiencing and not just only oversight the changes that we have encountered, that we have experienced in our climate and our environment. Yes, Gina Lopez, the ba is more. She's more into like the environmental yes. protection, and also what I know about her, she's also one of the organizer of Bantay Bata One Six Three, the ba. All right, nakalagan. So the questions are getting more interesting. Every candidate that I have interviewed in Miss Mandawi 2023. But before we proceed with our next segment, I would like to thank first our sponsor. I would like to thank Cebu Century Plaza Hotel for the accommodation. Thank you very much. And I would like to personally thank Timplora Dermatologica for always making me fresh because I am Timplora Touch. Now let's lighten up, let's okay. loosen up, let's have fun because <laughs> our next segment is the fast talk. Okay. Are you ready? Always ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fast talk. Hot or cold? Hot. Oh, hindi. Marte ka ba? Hindi. How many times do you take a bath? Once a day. No cell phone or internet? No internet. One piece or two piece when it comes to pageant? One piece. Walang tulog, walang kain? Walang kain. Favorite pastime? Reading books. Island life or city life? Island life. Beauty or brain? Brain. Travel or books? Books. Sweet or spicy? Spicy. YouTube or Netflix? YouTube. Fruits or vegetable? Vegetables. Hashtag ng buhay mo. Hashtag inevitable. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah. All right. Can you please invite our Lagan to Subu viewers where we can follow you, your social media platform, and how we can support you for the upcoming Miss Mandawi 2023. Go ahead. Hello, everyone. You can actually follow me on my Instagram and TikTok account. It's irishdelimo underscore seven. And you can also uh, follow me and like my official Facebook Facebook page, rather. It's Irish Delima, and you can add my um, personal Facebook account. It's Irish Delima Steel. And I am inviting you guys to watch our upcoming coronation night that would be on May 5, 2023. Alright, Makalagan, once again, our Miss Mandawi 2023 candidate number 10, we have Miss Irish Delima. Thank you very much for guesting here at Lagan Sa Subo. It's a pleasure, sir. Thank you so much. Congratulations for being part of Miss Mandawe and good luck for your upcoming competition. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And also, don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel at Lagan Sa Subo and click the bell button for notification. Like our official Facebook page at Lagan Sa Subo. You may also follow me on my TikTok account, Instagram, and Facebook at Fritz Gerald Alcaraz. Once again, ako si Kalaagan Fritz nagsasabi, stay safe, be a responsible Kalaagan, and this is Laagan La sa Subo. Sa Subo.